Hello, Sisfei here again, and welcome to a little bit more Space Engineers! Uh, last episode I was attempting to build a gravity generator, which is just tucked down here, which at the moment looks like some sort of electromagnet. Problem being, we needed gravity generator components. And in terms of gravity generator components, require an awful lot of parts. Uh, as you can see, I've managed to pull off three of them so far. Um, but I need a bit more cobalt and iron. I'm not 100% sure if that's actually what's required for one, not all three. Either way, I need more cobalt and more iron, so I've got the refinery specialising on that. And it's actually run out. Alright, might as well refill. Where are we... Uh, in fact, I, yep, I built a cargo container there just as hooked into this, so we could just drag the damn things in. Uh, where are we? Which one was it? Yes, so... Let's put the cobalt in there. And the iron. There we go. Right. Damn, that thing's noisy. So if I put these in here... Can I get any more? Um, uh, no, I didn't put them in there, didn't I? Yep. Uh, clearly still very short on iron and cobalt. So that's going to have to run for a little while so we can continue building a gravity generator. Right, well, so waiting for that, what else can we do? Um, well, we did say the ship needs thrusters, so I think a good idea would be to just maybe build them in the walls? Yeah, fairly central perhaps. Yeah, just the side of these bits. In fact, let's build them right next to the refinery. Yeah, we could put one there and one here. There's a hole. That's this one. Okay. Which is... Oh, that's part of our lovely floor. Oh, well, that's a shame. Never mind. Needs must. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. I suppose I could sort of stick them on the outside and build pretty little frames around them. But, well, we'll just try escape, really. So, we'll come back to that. Uh, right. So, thrusters. Small thruster. What do we need? Thruster components, steel tubes, construction components, steel plates. Yeah, that's fine, so... One there. And... One in here. Uh, there we go. And here. Carefully does it. And one at the bottom. There we go. So we'll actually be able to steal the ship. Just not forward and backwards, but that's not overly critical at the moment. Uh, the steel plate. Got any more of this thing around? I think we got some more steel plate. Um, got in that one. Where's that one? Yes, any more steel plate. Uh, steel plate in that one? Yep. Can I get to them from inside? I can get to this one. Ah, damn it, can't get to that one. Never mind. God, this ship's a noisy work environment. I really should have heating protectors or something. Right, that's all the steel plates done. Construction components now. Uh, yep. I uh, don't think that's enough. Be some more around here. Yeah, there's hordes in there. Excellent, that's just what we want. Can I weld through the gap? Oh, I can, lovely. Number three. And number four. Ah, my construction components. Okay. Right, large steel tubes. I need 32 of those. Uh, 43, excellent. Okay, only 9 there, never mind. 
Um, excuse me, I want to weld that. There we go. Right, all right, now we just need a bunch of frost components. Which I also have a ton of. It's quite big though. Come on, let me in. I just want to weld that. There we go, so that's one thruster online. So now we can move right. So if we ever need to move right forever, we're sorted. Might need some different directions though, so let's get the other ones polished off. Damn, that refinery is noisy. It's where it used to be quieter than that. There we go, thruster number four. It was a bit of a slow start collecting all that junk in the beginning, but now I've got all sorts of supplies that can build all sorts of stuff. So I now have four thrusters. Let's have a look at them, shall we? Hey, so I've got one there, and there, and there. I guess I had four of theirs. So now I can go up, down, left, and right. Still can't go forward and backwards, but that's not overly critical. Uh, how close are we to that? Can I go sideways and not hit it. Um, probably. Is there a rocking away? Nope. Okay, so this is the first test flight of Cuthbert the Fifth. We shall now go right as we built the left hand thrust the first. And yep, we're moving. Haha, <laughs> success. So now I can shuffle a little further behind the rock. Because there's not a whole lot of rock left over there. How are we doing? Oh, well, we're still okay. Yep. Yeah. Squeeze. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Ah. A little close there. Can I... Whoa! No, thank you. Carefully does it. And there, there we go. I'm really quite chuffed with that. Now, do we have enough for some gravity around here? Let's have a look. Ah, no, still producing cobalt. Yeah, still nowhere near enough cobalt. Oh well. Uh, Well, I can carry one of those at a time. They're pretty big. Might as well stick them in the gravity generator as we're here. One for you. Two for you. And three for you. There we go. So we're three gravity generator components away from actually having a gravity generator. And finally be able to walk around inside the ship. And fall out the doors and any other random holes I might have left in the floor. But yes, we're actually getting somewhere. It's starting to look very much like a fully equipped ship. So we've basically got the uh, the warp reactor, which has um, gone offline. Why have you gone offline? That's, that's a little worrying. Uh, ah, because there's no uranium. It sucked that uranium out first. Okay, well, uh, no problem. Clearly it uses uh, large reactors first. I wonder if it's more efficient at using uranium. Probably something I should check at some point. Right, well, you are in the way. You have thrusters. Thrusters are useful. We can steal those. Let's finish off the framework here, I think. That sounds like a very good idea. Steel plate. We have an awful lot of steel plate around here. Uh, uh, 52, that's, that's not a lot of steel plate. Do I have any more steel plate on board? Uh, yep, yeah, some there. Um, and that's it. Uh, not a lot of steel plate then. All right, so. We polish off the back first. Yeah, I probably want to do that with them, don't I? It looks more stylish. But you know, you've got to have a little bit of style on this ship. Because we're not space cretins. Yeah, a little bit of style. Okay. 
Where can I put the medical bay? Um, I'll put the medical bay up in the nose or in one of the side bits. It's probably a good idea. And I can put rear engines here. The big engines are too wide, I think. Spray sounds like something's. What the? What the hell? Well, I don't know what's going on down there. Uh, oh, now they're, they're a little bigger than I expected. Um, hmm. They are, in fact, free wide and too deep. Okay, well, we'll just have the one on the back then, shall we? Because I didn't take that into account when I bought this. Like that. Oh, no crap, I didn't mean to do that. Um, can I still get any reactor? Yeah. How oh, about well, stuff it? We'll have an engine there. It's not going to kill us, is it? Actually, it, it may kill us, but. No, no. Yeah. Okay, it's probably not the world's best design ship ever. In fact, it. Still a frame, to be honest. Uh, but it will be a pretty functional frame, and I might even actually put it together or something. Yes, yes, uh, that'll do. Uh, I need to round these off, don't we? Pop, uh, pop, pop, pop. Should we round the back off more? Uh, yes, yes, let's let's round the back off more. I'll take these off. Ah, uh, this is what the small corner ones are for. Uh, oh damn, maybe I didn't think this one should be right. Um, oh, what have I done? I've pissed it up somehow. Um, oh god. Bear with me. There we go, that's what I meant to do on the corner. It's more like it. This is sort of the other corner then. Uh, and that one there. Yep, that looks more like it. Um, there we go, I've got the hang of this now. Before you know it, we're producing stuff that you see on the Steam Workshop. Aha! Or maybe not. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh god, have I pissed it up again? Um, this one? Yes, that one. Right. Um, that's actually kind of funky now. I have no idea where the hell I'm going to get enough iron to actually put that together, though. Um, and it might need more thrusters. Hmm. Probably build us out of the back. Oh, I'm gonna build front engines, am I? Oh wow, we're working on it. Oh, now look at the cool shape of the back. I feel like the front should have been like that. Ah oh. oh, well, we'll stick with our stubby nose. I mean, it's space. What are we gonna hit? Probably not a question I should ask, actually. Yep. Hey, that's the one. What a pretty arse our ship has. Okay, all out of steel plate. We got that much done. This is going to take a ridiculous amount of steel plate, isn't it? Sorely tempted to fly this thing without actually finishing it. Well, we'll have a think about that. Um, we'll come to that decision later. So, more steel plate. Um... Have a little check in refinery. How are we doing down here? Whoop. Uh, practically bugger all cobalt. This is taking forever. 
So put a little bit more cobalt in here. And we are short. Uh, still about 160 cobalt. And then we need an absolute ton of iron. Hmm. Maybe we can break stuff down into iron. Well, speaking of breaking stuff down, we might as well just rip this all apart. So we don't need it anymore. And we could use the parts. So, chair first, I think. Almost got to have a spare chair. I think I can get an entire chain in my pocket. Ooh, the two lines are in different places. What's that mean? Oh, that means that one breaks. Uh, I assume the blue line is when it becomes operational? Yeah, let's be rebuild it and find out. Um, nope, blue line doesn't seem to do anything. Oh well. And we have a pocket full of chair. Where is that shooting noise coming from? That's really weird. Right, well that's this half uh, almost totally destroyed. And here we have a little gyroscope. And if you remember before, if we have a look, that's full of quite a lot of steel plates. So that should help um, patch some of this up. So I think we'll uh, polish this off, get all the steel plate in there, wait for the reactor to finish, and I will see you next episode. So, as per usual, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.